female crew member who worked with actor Fred Savage has filed a lawsuit claiming he bullied her and once even hit her. Mr. Savage snapped. He yelled at me, told me not to touch him, and he hit my arm violently three times. I could not stop crying. I was in pain. I was humiliated, and I was scared. This was the last straw for me because now my physical safety was at risk. Y.J. Huang worked in the costume department on the comedy The Grinder that ran for one season on Fox back in 2015. Wang says she was often called on to whisk dirt and lint off Savage's clothing. She claims he would yell at her and demean her. She says she left the show when her complaints to superiors were ignored. Her lawsuit filed against Savage and Fox claims assault, battery and gender discrimination. In the 1990s, Savage reportedly settled a lawsuit from a costume designer on The Wonder Years. Savage denies the claims in the lawsuit, saying it did not happen. 20th Century Fox, which is a sister company to Fox 11, released this statement. Fox takes all allegations of improper conduct very seriously. We conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations and found no evidence of any wrongdoing on the part of Mr. Savage. We will vigorously defend against these unfounded claims. The high school female crew member, this is actually kind of serious, who worked with actor Fred Savage, has filed a lawsuit claiming that he bullied her and once even hit her. Mr. Savage snapped. He yelled at me, told me not to touch him, and he hit my arm violently three times. I could not stop crying. I was in pain. I was humiliated, and I was scared. This was the last straw for me because now my physical safety was at risk. Y.J. Huang worked in the costume department on the comedy The Grinder that ran for one season here on Fox in 2015. She says she was often called to clean dirt and lint off of Savage's clothing and says he would yell at her and demean her. She says she left the show when her complaints were ignored. Her lawsuit filed against Savage and Fox claims assault, battery, and gender discrimination. Mm. Meanwhile, 20th Century Fox, which is a sister company to Fox 11, released this statement. Fox takes all allegations of improper conduct very seriously. We conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations and found no evidence of any wrongdoing on the part of Mr. Savage. We will vigorously defend against these unfounded claims. Okay. Not the only one making news today with claims of harassment. Former Wonder Years star Fred Savage is facing new allegations, and today his accuser took legal action. Mr. Savage was aggressive towards me. He would routinely curse at me, yell at me, demean me, was scared of the abuse. The allegations of assault, battery, harassment, and discrimination were filed in a lawsuit today by Y.J. Wong, a former costume designer from the 2015 Fox comedy, The Grinder. I was attempting to brush off dandruff off Mr. Savage's jacket. Mr. Savage snapped. He hit my arm violently three times. I could not stop crying. I was in pain. I was humiliated, and I was scared. In a statement to E.T., Savage calls the allegations, quote, completely without merit and absolutely untrue. Fox also tells E.T., quote, we conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations and found no evidence of any wrongdoing on the part of Mr. Savage. In 2015, E.T. was on the set of The Grinder. During our interview, Savage was upbeat. He even wanted to keep the interview going longer despite being needed back on set. No, I gotta let him go. Okay, I think we're well, here, good. Do a couple more, do a couple more. I mean, you're here. Okay, do okay, good. It's fine. fine. It's fine. We'll do more takes. This is the second allegation of negative onset behavior to surface against Savage this year. But in January, Allie Mills, who played Fred's mom in The Wonder Years, claimed the series came to an end in 1993 due to what she believes was a false sexual harassment suit filed against him by a wardrobe stylist. Savage denied denied the allegation. What ridiculous sexual harassment suit that was going on. It was so not true. Fred was only 11 years old when E.T. first interviewed him at home in Chicago. As soon as my head starts getting bigger, it's over. It's really bad then. All right, let's